What's the future of Medicare and Social Security? Today we're going to talk to you about our crystal ball and where we see things going in the future. That's right. In order to know how things will affect you, you really have to get the big picture on what's happening in the world. So we're going to give you a little bit of background here. We're Michael and Shannon. We're with Healthcare Genius, and we are always here to help. So Shannon, we've been using this slide uh, for a while. Uh, this actually came out in 2011. Uh, but basically what it does is it talks about what the costs of Medicare, Social Security, and Medicaid are, which are the three big entitlement programs, and how, in this example, by 2049, uh, they will consume the entire federal budget. Yeah, and 2049 isn't that far away. And, and it's something that we try to educate our clients on because we want them to understand that what does this really mean? Uh, we know that those three entitlements can't consume the federal budget because that would obviously take everything else out. So one of two things are going to have to happen. Either we're going to have to see benefits get cut to accommodate that, or we're going to have to see higher taxes. And that's where we're trying to counsel people with help them understand that you need to plan ahead of time for this because most likely it may be a combination of both, uh, yeah. both higher taxes and uh, cuts to benefits, especially if you're a higher income earner. We've already seen how Medicare, you have to pay higher premiums for Medicare. We expect that may happen with Social Security where you'll see a reduction in your Social Security depending on what income you make. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've, we already talk about the problem for higher income earners when it comes to Medicare. With Medicare means testing, we're seeing people paying up to three or four times more um, than your average person on Medicare premiums. So there's already a problem there. Um, if the tax problem increases, I mean, what do you think that's going to look like for people and and how should they plan? Yeah, and, and we're going to do a separate video as we go forward just on tax rates and where they've been historically and where we think they may go in the future. But there's just almost no way that we can continue down, especially with COVID where we just added three to four trillion dollars to the budget deficit. There's really not a way that we can see that costs aren't going to go up. I mean, if you get your Social Security statement, uh, most most of you can get it online, although some people still get it in the mail. It's going to show you that by 2034, uh, there's only going to be enough money to pay 77 cents on the dollar. Yep. And Michael, where are you getting that information? That comes from the Social Security you know, Department. I mean, it's actually on the statement that they put out. So it's the government telling you that you should be preparing for this. Now. When it comes to Social Security and Medicare, it's traditionally funded by payroll taxes. So for those people who are working, we expect that you'll see higher payroll taxes. That's when you look at your check and you see what's called FICA, uh, which is normally 7.65%. So that comes out of your check. That goes to pay for Social Security and Medicare. Mm -hmm. Those numbers will have to go up somewhere down the road. And again, uh, the easiest way is to look at higher income earners and say, we're going to put additional taxes on you for, uh, for those costs, and we're going to reduce benefits for those people who maybe don't need Social Security. Yep. I, so I read the other day that um, when you look at that FICA tax, only about 25% of it is going towards Medicare. The rest is going towards Social Security. So when you think about this problem with Medicare and you see that Social Security is actually in a better spot, I mean, that's kind of alarming, right? So, Well, and Shannon today brought up a stat that she had just saw about uh, people using medical services between 65 and 75. We want to share that. Yeah, so it basically said that age 75 plus historically people have consumed twice as many benefits or have consumed twice as much health care, I should say, as they did between ages 65 and 75. So the older you get, you know, the more you're consuming health care, the more you, you know, have to go to the doctor, the more you have um, to get a surgery, whatever. So the older you get, the worse the problem is getting for the majority of us. Yeah, and, and, and that tends to be true. I mean, most dollars are spent on medical care in the last six months of life. That, that tends to be another statistic that's out there. So what's the, the lesson here and what, what do you need to be doing? Well, first of all, you need to create a health care money plan. You need to be creating a plan that will protect you while you're still working, but will also carry over into retirement that will basically 
take into account higher taxes, lower benefits, mm -hmm. so that you and your family are prepared for these costs when you're retired. So as we always say, you can hit your oasis in retirement uh, and you're not stopped short. Yeah, absolutely. In the desert. And the first step to do in this process is to really figure out what it will look like for you when you do retire, how things will change with your health care. And it's different for everybody, depending on, you know, whether your employer pays for your health care when you're working, how much they pay, and then, you know, income, all different kinds of things when you do retire and when you do take Medicare. So it's important to educate yourself on that first and foremost. We actually have a short quiz that you can take that will do a really good job of estimating what your health care costs in retirement will look like. So that's the first step. Just educate yourself, know what to plan for. There really is a, a method to the madness so you can figure out what this will look like for you. Again, we are Shannon and Michael. We're with Healthcare Genius. We're always here to help. Um, feel free to watch more of our videos on healthcare and retirement, on Medicare, on Social Security. Um, anything you need to know about healthcare and retirement, we are here. Subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you know when we do come out with new videos. And let us know if you have any questions. You can go ahead and check out our description below to see that quiz that we had mentioned. We call it our crystal ball. Or if you want to become a client, you can also do that in our description below.